I, I know that you answered this question on your podcast yesterday, but I wanted to get into it a little bit more on mine. Whenever it comes to guests that you've interviewed, I know like you gave some pretty big names on yours, but mm -hmm. who would you say off the top of your head, top three guests that you've ever interviewed? Oh, wow. Well, I mean, you put me on the spot again. Yeah. Um, I mean, of course, I've said this a million times, Zach Wild for sure. Uh, Wayne Static. That was my mouth dropped when you said uh, that yesterday. That yeah, was and, crazy. And, and forgive me, I know I've done a, a ton of interviews, and there's a lot of stuff that I've, I'm just forgetting. But uh, Dave Brocky, Odor Sarungus from Guar. Oh, that's cool, him. man. So, yeah. I, I, there's plenty more Doyle from the Misfits. Uh, Erie Vaughn. You got Doyle? Yeah. Whoa, I've, I've interviewed man. Doyle several times. He, yeah. From what the interviews I've watched with him, I need to check out yours. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. But uh, the interviews I've seen, he's such a nice guy. Just such. Can be. Well, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> well, the interviews I watched, at least, maybe he has different days and where he's in different moods. Sure, and, and that's the thing about, I mean, these. They're just like everybody else. They're a human being. They have their good days and bad days. Yeah. It happens. It happens even to me and you, of course. And, you and sometimes we screw it up, too, oh, yeah. man. Yeah. Uh, one time I got to interview Colin Macri, M Mackerel, however you say his last name. He's mm -hmm. the guy from Whose Line Is It Anyway? The, oh, the, okay. The short the, guy. The older on guy. There. Yeah. yeah, the short older guy. Yeah, yeah, that's Colin. I can't say his last name. And I started off the interview with, like, asking why is uh, – why do they call uh, – but the whole Canadian ham ordeal, mm. I went on some riff about <laughs> that. For some stupid reason, I started off the podcast that way, and oh yeah, it was just totally downhill from there. Oh yeah. So yeah, I, yeah. I, I took a lot of credit for bad interviews <clears throat> whenever I've talked to big people. <laughs> yeah, you definitely yeah, don't. You make the mistake. <laughs> you definitely don't want to talk about what's in the tabloids. Say, hey, so I heard you were, do you know? Oh yeah. Well, I got to. Uh, I got to talk to. Uh, Bobby Lashley from WWE, and I brought up the Trump match. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, for the people that, that aren't wrestling fans out there, uh, Bobby Lashley took on, I think it was Brock Lesnar or The Rock. And uh, Vince was in The Rock or whoever's corner. Mm -hmm. And uh, Donald Trump was in uh, Brock Lesnar's corner. I think that's how it worked out. I'll have to go back and look at it again. But, yeah, he was walking on eggshells when I brought that up. You can tell, like... That his manager was on the other line just saying, wrap this up, buddy. <laughs> it's like Stone Cold Steve Austin gave Donald Trump a stunner. Yeah, that, yeah, that was the match right there. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, of course I'm going to ask him about that. It was That's history right there. But it's nerve-wracking whenever you get to talk to some of these big people. Do you still get the butterflies 11 years later? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, because it's like... First question I ask, is it going to pop off good, or are we going to be pulling teeth, or is it going to be like one of those Chris Farley moments where, uh, do you remember that you was in this band? <laughs> yeah. 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 Like from Saturday Night Live skit, yeah. yeah. Like like Paul the, McCartney. Paul McCartney, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember you was in the Beatles? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Such a funny skit, yeah. man. 